24th of March 2018. This is a four years old male neutered domestic short hair cat. Mm. The, what's the complaint now? You said, huh? what's the complaint, the problem? Ah, itchy, itchy. Itchiness, huh? okay. Itchiness, the complaint is itchiness in this cat. This cat, uh, where is the itchiness? So the location uh, yeah. here above the eye and where here. All these uh, seem to be related to the ears. Uh. Mm. So this one area. So we zoom onto this area. You won't have it. Uh, mm. Okay, but this side okay, right? So you compare okay. to their side. Uh, their side is okay. No scratching, right? No. No scratching. So this is one. How long already the scratching? How many weeks? I one week. Uh. One week, huh? Uh. Before that, nothing. Uh, nothing. This can go up. No, no go out. No go out. Uh -huh. Another yeah, cat. Many. Another no, no, cat. Achit, no, no go out one. How many cats do you have? Four. Four cats. So, mm -hmm. so there are four cats. Uh, so this is not only one cat in the house. Uh. No, four cats. One of the reasons to be fighting. Uh. Any fighting? Scratching? No, no, no. No scratching. Uh. By the cat? Other cat? Oh, she plays his brother. Uh, him, uh. Uh, play, uh, they play each other. So that now the cat, they, when they scratch, scratch each other, sometimes the bacteria goes in and it's quite the, oh. from the claws, uh, the claws when they accidentally scratch. And uh, they have a lot of bacteria. So even like people, when people scratch, sometimes the hands, the skin, uh, they get infected. There's a bit of a scratching, uh, rubbing here, the eye. So sometimes the injury can cause this, uh, skin infection and then itchiness. Uh. But now we say the other side. The body is okay, right? Body? Uh, body no. Yeah. Hmm? Now there are some here actually. Uh, These are the other injuries. Uh. Yeah. Wait, uh. So we check from front to back first. Okay, the front. We check both sides here. This side. This side also a bit here and there. Uh. Okay. Now the other part to, to check is the neck. Neck looks okay. Lucky this cat is, is okay. Now this four year old cat, so we have a quick look at the gums. Gums are okay. Uh. Now there's gingivitis. This is the gum disease. Uh. You can see the red line. Mm. Some cats have it, and some has it. Uh, okay, it doesn't like it. But the colour is okay. Makan okay? Makan okay. Drinking? Ah, okay, sitting. They check for ulcers, no, no ulcers. Okay, so this one is finished. Now I go further down. Now the cat is fed up. Okay, okay. go further Mama down. Here. Looks okay. Mama here. Then I turn turn this side. I turn this side. Go go ahead. Oh, it's a bit tough now because... No, no. Cats don't like it. They don't need to be... to be uh, handled too much. Okay. So this side should be okay. Now I just have a quick look below. Oh, sorry. Sayang, sayang, sayang. Sayang, sayang. Now the owner complaint is here actually. Uh -huh. yeah. So below is where you take a photo. Yeah. No, now you think it's the best. So this is the best view uh, in this main neutral cat. Now, any, any other places here? So there's a big. It's a neutral cat. The cat is neutral already. Uh, Mr. Mm. Realize. Now, is that how long? How long, Brother Harry? So that one week, yeah. So I think not really. The cat has been licking it. Uh. So one possibility is inner sac disease. Uh. Inner glands. Three days Harry, mau bawa aja tu sudah naik atas tak boleh ambil. Yeah, let's let's see there's some here. So you see there. There's some here. So and some on this side. But other than that, the armpits must check also. They're okay, you see, you check armpits okay. Oh, uh, so, so now we know, now I will have a quick check of the ears. So we do have the ear scope to check for mics, uh, any mics. Uh. Now the ear itself is dirty, a bit dirty. Have a quick check for mics, ear mics. Uh. No, nothing. You clean the ears? Our, our other <laughs> no, <laughs> owner doesn't clean the ears. So you didn't clean the ears, but it looks clean. Uh. Overall, it looks clean. No discharge. Then we check the other ears. Huh? Then we clean up first. 
Doktor, tak mau stay boleh balik lah dia hmm? Tak mau stay sini lah, tak mau tidur Boleh balik dengan dia You want to bring back lah? Ha. Ha. So, do systematically check both ears lah Not one ear, it's a bit of wet then Some, some wetness, okay But besides, so it's a bit dirty This one definitely is dirty, eh? the wax mm -hmm. So this is ear scope, it's called a scope eh? It's quite useful Now after that I will just do a quick palpation Fiscal examination shows some wax eh? Then I'll just do the no pain, okay This side also No pain, so it's not bad Only dirty, eh? dirty, say the dirty eh? Okay, so this is for the, the facial one, huh? now I'm going to the back side. Now the back side, is, back side the, the thing is very bad. Come out, 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 you hold like that, you hold like this, you hold so like that, okay. Okay, yeah, no. I just have a quick check on this, uh, see whether it is a uh, fungus or not. Because sometimes it's a fungus uh, and it's very itchy, so I just use the ultraviolet light. Now if it's fungus, it will florence, it will glow. Eh? This area will glow, but it's not, it's not glowing. So it's unlikely to be fungus. Eh? No, okay. So now I'm going to, that is ultraviolet light examination. Now I will do the inner sac expression. Normally it's the oil glands are stuck. The oil is stuck inside. So, so I will express it. Now many times the cat is not so happy. Eh? I want to check up about stroke here, yeah. huh? stroke here, oh. sayang, yeah, sayang, yeah. Oh, so it's fine, so I got, now the inner set is here, yeah. the oil glands, huh? the oil glands are here, left and right, and this oil glands, sometimes they are infected, they, they are blocked, they cannot come out, so the cat leaks here, actually the problem is here, it's, I can feel it, it's quite swollen, huh? so I will express it out, and when I express it out, then normally the cat feels, relief and no more itchy. The oil gland is here. You can't see it's underneath the skin. Four o'clock, eight o'clock. So it's not uh, it's not visible from the outside but the oil gland is the inners, the inners, inner set here. Okay the oil gland is here and here. Okay I'm going to express it now. Because the oil gland is full and infected so the cat feels very itchy and it keeps on leaking here. Okay, now I'm going to do, hold up the tail and uh, express, you can see the oil coming out there. This one, the cat can't do it, so we have to do it for him. But how he got it, you see, you see, it's really bad. Now you see, so this is inner circulitis out, don't think of, huh? oil there, huh? dry already. Normally it's a light yellow oil, like cooking oil. It's not so dry as this. So this one has been there for some time. For a long time. Maybe one year. And uh, the cat tries to get rid of it, but uh, the cat can't do it. So we need human beings to do it. And I do one more time. And normally after this, if the oil can come up by itself, when the cat pass motion, then there will be no more problem. Now if the cat is very unhappy, then we have to sedate. But in this case, we don't have to. Huh? Okay, no more already. Huh? So, inner cellulitis, uh, skin infection due to play, play biting. Uh, there's, there's actually two sides here and there. So, the treatment will be antibiotics and anti inflammatory. And this one is inner cell expression. Now, normally I will check for fungus. Huh? So, so these wounds, sometimes they might be fungus or even mites, but uh, skin mites, but it's hard to tell. Normally I would just get some hair, but there's not much here. It doesn't look like ring wound plate. Uh, uh, uh. Then normally part of the examination is to check under the microscope the hairs, check under the microscope for Fungus. Of course, I can't use the ultraviolet light there because it's near the eyes. But ultraviolet light will give you an indication of 
uh, when the floor is. Okay, so I just check for the spores mm -hmm. in the hair. You mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in the uh, video. Yeah. If the hair shafts should not have any growth, no? so they will exclude fungus. Ringworm. Ringworm is quite common, so we have to check for this. Yeah. They are big here and there. There are some small ones, but uh, it's unlikely to be ringworm. Let's see through. See so if we can see through. Okay, so I will give the injection. And how about wash? Wash, wash now, mm -hmm. and then body uh, area. Okay. Yes. Uh, so uh, there's no 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 uh, 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 injection. Uh, uh, injection. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, thanks. Okay, we finish. Uh, just show.